Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to be showing you how to create this cool speed ramp effect inside of After Effects. So first off, what we're going to do is grab our clips. I'm just going to use two clips for this. I'll take this one and just put it into your composition. If you drag it here, it'll create a composition that matches your clip. So I'm going to have it start maybe right here. So I'll cut that. Control Shift D, delete that and drag it over here. I'm going to mute this. So I just have this right here and I'm going to cut it right here. Control shift D. So it's just this short clip and I'll drag in my other clip right underneath this one. Bring it up here. And I'll have this one start. Maybe right here. There's some good motion in the waves crashing. So I'll just cut it there and then have it end. see right here control shift d and then just bring those right next to each other all right so once you have these two clips what you're going to do is you're going to hit control alt t and it's going to bring up your time remapping and what you can do with this is just change the speed of your clip and that's basically what you're going to use for your speed ramping so i'd create a keyframe at the start of your clip so at the beginning of this one at the very end and then somewhere around the middle it doesn't have to be perfect and then uh, highlight all your keyframes so all three and then hit f9 or you could right click on it and then go to uh or is it yeah yeah keyframe assistant and then easy ease so once you've done that you want to highlight all three and then go into your graph editor so once you're in the graph editor, you can see that there's all these keyframes right here. You just want to highlight just one of them. So I'm going to do this left one right here. You can zoom in and move around, but you want to drag this one up. And then you want to drag this sort of over here. Just like that. So you can already see it speeds up and it slows down. You just want to do the same thing. For your other point at the very end. So this is your third keyframe right here. You're just dragging this over here. And then just creates a shape that you're gonna use for all your clips basically. So this is what the first speed ramping looks like. And it's not too much. If you wanted to make it look a little bit more sharp, I guess you can up the time ramping right there a little bit faster but I'll just keep it like that and then what you want to do is you want to go to your next clip so you go back into your timeline and then control alt T bring up the time remapping and then keyframe at the start of that clip very end and then in the middle of it so now you got all three keyframes F9 or you can go in here keyframe assistant easy ease which will do the same thing. And then you wanna go back into the graph editor and do pretty much the same thing that you did for the other keyframes. Just like pretty much create the same uh, timer mapping. So once it's rendered out, you can play it back. And you can see it's pretty good. It's a little choppy here the frame rate is pretty weird just because it's slowing down and i think this is 60 frames per second footage so i'm slowing it lower than 60 frames so what you can do is you can go over here and hit the frame blending to this one i'm not totally sure what this is called but so if you do the first one it's just i'm not i don't know this looks really bad so I use the second one and then enable motion blur for both the clips. Just go to the start of it, play it back, and you can see it looks a lot smoother. All right, so there you go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this simple tutorial. I could go more advanced into the uh, graph editor and like keyframes and speed ramping and all that, but I think this is a pretty simple and beginner speed ramping. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.